This is the next stage then? Yes, it is. This is a software that lets you stitch garments onto an avatar. You've made the clothes specially for this avatar model, haven't you? Yes, they have been scanned in. You can put it on top of her and then it stitches all those parts together. Here you can record her walking. Oh, right, so okay. So you can see how the garment behaves. The only thing that you can't do is check uh, how this model looks on a catwalk with your own measurements, So because it's already set. So even as computers, they won't let people who aren't tall enough on a catwalk? <laughs> <laughs> In the future, do you think that we'd be able to shop online like this, that all clothes could just be sort of fitted onto your size? Yes, definitely, yes. I think the whole fashion supply chain will be revolutionised and it will be much more sustainable because there will be no waste of clothing. All the garments could be made specially for customers. When you started out, you started out in fashion, is that right? Yes, I did, yes. Then I thought that it would be much more interesting to study digital fashion and right. I ended up doing PhD in fashion and technology. So originally though, is your background in science? No, unfortunately it's not. It's Why unfortunately? Because it will help me um, significantly in finding the best solution for virtual try-on if I knew more about maths and physics and computer science mainly. So it's funny because when you sort of think about fashion and fabric, I don't automatically think of science. I think that even it will be very difficult to find a job in fashion in the future without understanding how it works and without understanding the 3D garments and 3D stitching. If this vision of the future proves correct, then the next Stella McCartney could sweep onto the fashion scene with a degree in computer science and brand new collection in full 3D. Who said science and art don't mix?